What did Samsung just remove from your phone? One UI 7.0 brings changes, but not all of them are good. Samsung's One UI 7.0 looks fresh on the outside, but if you dig a little deeper, you'll notice some features and settings have quietly disappeared or been renamed or moved. So, what exactly did Samsung remove or change behind the scenes? This new update is getting a lot of attention for its sleek animations, smoother interactions, and updated icons. But with progress comes change, and sometimes that means saying goodbye to options we've gotten used to. In this article, we're diving into every setting and feature that's been removed, renamed, or merged in One UI 7.0 compared to One UI 6.x. Heads up, this list focuses on features and settings, not the visual design. Home screen settings. The 4x5 and 5x5 grid layouts are gone. Now, you can only pick between 4x6 and 5x6. If you're using the vertical app drawer, you'll get a new column selection option. Wallpapers. Wallpapers are now grouped under Featured, but this doesn't apply to the graphical or color categories. Lock screen and modes. Modes and routines on the lock screen is gone. Modes are now moved to the Now bar in One UI 7.0. Sound and vibration. Dolby Atmos for gaming is no longer a separate toggle. It's likely been combined into the regular Dolby Atmos setting. Notifications. Lock screen notifications. Notifications to show is now called show alerting notifications with a toggle. The show content when unlocked toggle has been removed. Do not disturb. The hide all toggle under hide notifications is gone. Advanced settings. The show notification icons on's option has been removed. Battery percentage has been moved from advanced settings to the battery section. Display. The full screen apps option has been removed. Makes sense as most apps auto adjust now. Vibrate when the handle is touched is gone from edge panels. Vibration now happens by default. Security and privacy. Additional privacy controls is now just called controls and alerts. Biometrics has been renamed to screen lock and biometrics. Pin app toggle is now called allow apps to be pinned. Theft protection is now under lost device protection, grouped with find my mobile. Advanced features. Voice wake up is now called voice registration, and it has new settings. The option to show Bixby on the app screen has been removed. Quick launch camera and wake Bixby settings have moved under double press and long press. Show contacts when sharing content is removed. Video call effects is now called video effects. The gaming hub toggle is no longer in the settings. Device care. Processing speed has been replaced by a new performance profile. The customization service under settings is gone. Battery. The toggle for super fast charging has been removed. Regular fast charging and wireless charging are still available. General management. Voice input is gone. Now you get language packs instead. Settings for passwords, pass keys, and autofill are no longer here. They've likely been moved elsewhere. That's a full list of what's been removed, renamed, or shifted around in Samsung's One UI 7.0 update. Some changes make sense, others might feel like a step back, depending on what features you used the most. Did we miss anything? Spot a hidden change we didn't cover? Let us know 